pretty interesting how such a small change, such as repositioning the feet, make a bike feel a lot more comfortable. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Pat Outdoors. Today we're gonna be working on the Talaria XXX. Just gonna be throwing on a couple upgrades that were sent to us by Kamimoto. First package includes a set of larger foot pegs. Came with an instruction manual, some spacers, and some extra hardware. Check these out. They definitely look a lot better than the original ones. It's got twice as much surface area. Feels like a pretty good quality piece, like a billet aluminum that has a anodized gloss black finish. Now let's go check out what's in the other package. Now this package includes a foot peg extension kit. These are what the adapters look like. And then this is a brace that goes in between the two. Came with the hardware needed, the tools needed to install it, along with a set of instructions. This actually works out perfectly for me since my wife likes to ride my Talaria. And the last time she took this thing out on the trail, her biggest complaint was that the foot pegs are way too small and that her boots kept slipping off of it pretty easily. So these new Kamimoto foot pegs should definitely help with keeping her boots in place due to the larger surface area. These studs all over the top surface should definitely help grip the bottom of her boots a little better. And my wife Bailey is also taller than me, so she does feel a little bit cramped in the XXX since this is not really made for tall riders. So the foot peg extension should definitely help make it feel more comfortable. I'm gonna start by installing the foot pegs and then we'll move on to the extension kit. To remove the original peg, you have to take out a clip on the backside you can just take a really small flathead screwdriver and pry it out. Remove the washer and pull the pin forward and carefully pull the foot peg out. Careful not to lose the spring that keeps the pegs tensioned. And also keep in mind how it's oriented where the smaller tab is on the inside and the larger tab is on the outside. We're gonna replicate that on the new pegs. This is what the clip looks like. Be careful not to lose this. You're gonna see that there's a little bit of play in between and that's what the spacers are for. You're gonna put one of these in between on the inside. You know what? My peg actually fits pretty well with just one spacer on the front side. And then I'm just gonna put the original spacer on the outside on the bottom. Now this is fully dependent on what kind of bike you have. Since these Kamimoto pegs are somewhat universal, your bike might require two spacers one on each side. Now we're gonna reinstall the original washer and then the clip. And that is it. Just make sure that it's properly tensioned and this is what it's supposed to look like. Now let's go do the other side. Just took the clip and the spacer out. Now we're gonna pull the pin back out on the front side. Replicate how the spring is oriented. Then I'm gonna insert one spacer on the front side I'm gonna pry the short end of the spring up to its original position. Just like that. And then now we're gonna reinsert the spacer and the clip. For the extensions, we're gonna start by taking this bracket off, which means we have to remove these two six millimeter bolts. Now we're gonna install the Kemimoto adapter. The correct one for the right side is the one with this portion protruding on the very top right corner. Then we're gonna 
I reinstall the bracket onto the Kami motor adapter using the new hardware that came with it. Do you guys hear those annoying ass huskies outside? Dang, I was about to start the install on this side, but I just noticed that there's a torn wire for my kickstand. But that explains why that safety feature no longer works. So after I do the install on this side, I'm going to fix this while I'm at it. I'm going to lean my bike against my workbench so we can take the weight off the kickstand, install this side and install the brace in between. I was gonna say be careful with that wire, but in my case it's already torn, so I'm just gonna let it hang and we're gonna we're gonna extend this anyway. So Kemimoto, in case you're watching this, you should include in your instructions for the Tolaria XXX that you have to extend the wiring for the kickstand. I almost forgot to install the brace that goes in between the two brackets. I just have to loosen these two six millimeter Allen bolts so we can slide this back. Make sure you have the O-ring in place on both sides. This portion is gonna slide on the back side of the rear hole on the original bracket. No need to take it off, we just have to slide it back enough. Now the last step for the extension kit is to install a black Allen bolt on both sides of this brace using a 5mm Allen socket. And here's how the foot pegs and the extension kit look fully installed. Now I'm gonna work on extending these two wires. I'm just gonna take a section of 22 gauge wiring from the spare harness I have laying around from one of my old razor projects. I'm gonna match the colors from the factory harness, which are black, blue, and brown. And then for the wiring, I'm just using some self-soldering wire connectors, some heat shrink tubing to clean things up, some wire strippers and a lighter. If you're interested in any of the items that we used for today's project, I'll have everything linked in the description below. And here's how the wiring extension turned out. It tucked pretty nicely into the skid plate. Let's go take this thing out to see if it rides any differently. The first thing I noticed right away hopping on the bike is how much lower my knees are. So it's certainly noticeably further away from the handlebar. It does feel like I have more room on the bike now. It's 
pretty interesting how such a small change, such as repositioning the feet, make a bike feel a lot more comfortable. Now, if you are interested in getting yourself a set of these Kemimoto foot peg extensions and a set of their foot pegs, I'll have everything linked in the description below. In other news, I did just get a package from Nucular, which is my P24F controller kit for this Telaria, so we can start putting down some big power. If you are interested in checking out that video, make sure you stay tuned. But if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with some of my bike projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.